Hi guys, if you've watched any of my latest video, you know that I've been talking to healthcare professionals. And after that, my team does the research on what's the latest tech and what's the latest science relevant to the topic we discussed. We come up with knowledge questions based off our learnings, and then we put the questions on our all-in platform. If you get the questions correct, you get discounts at our partners. Now, through this process, my team learned plenty of insights. But until this video, it has been hard to share all these insights with everyone. So through this very first episode of Jing Self Journey, I'll share three main insights I gained through going through the DEXA scan as well as strength assessments. Before that, a quick thank you to one of our subscribers who reached out to us and pointed us to the issue study, which forms the first insight in this video. From this study published in 2022, we now know the body composition reference values in Singaporean adults. Now, this is important because the DEXAFIT results that you get are reference of countries elsewhere, not Singapore. So for example, my DEXAFIT results show that I'm in the second to fourth percentile in lean mass, depending on which statistics you're looking at. But if I'm comparing it to the issuing study, you'll see that I fall between the 10th and 50th percentile. That is not the only useful point of referencing the issuing study. The other useful point is that you now know the 90th percentile, which is a goal you can target in your training if you're trying to optimize your own health. Speaking of which, the second insight is also on DEXA scan. Specifically, when you go to DEXA fit, you get a full body DEXA scan, which is useful if you're trying to determine your body composition, but not so useful if you're trying to diagnose osteoporosis. For example, a paper in 2010 found that one quarter of patients without osteoporosis on whole body DEXA did have osteoporosis on local DEXA. So an insight here is that there's differences between a full body DEXA and a localized DEXA. If you're trying to diagnose osteoporosis, go for a localized DEXA. And if you're trying to determine your body composition as well as a general fracture risk, then a full body DEXA makes sense. The last takeaway I'll share in this video is related to the strength assessments I did of which for me, there are three main things to take note of. Firstly, balance. Based on the result, my balance really needs work. And when I close my eyes, my balance drops off drastically. From what my team gathered through literature, general day-to-day -day activities like walking don't really help. I have to target specific parts of balance training, which I'm weaker on. And the ideal frequency is three times per week. The other thing I need to work on is asymmetry. Now, this is pretty interesting because a systematic review done in 2021 found that the relationship between lower limb asymmetry and injuries could not be conclusively established. However, a more recent study in 2022 found that men with relative peak force asymmetry above 4% are more likely to be injured. Moreover, increasing the relative peak force asymmetry by 1% is associated with a 19.8% higher injury risk. Now, whichever camp you're in, whether asymmetry leads to more injuries or asymmetry doesn't lead to more injuries, it's safe to say, if you're trying to optimize your health, working towards symmetry doesn't harm. Last but not least, looking at my DEXA scan results, I probably have to work more on my upper body strength. Now, the good thing is my grip strength is still pretty healthy. However, there's room for improvement in both bone mineral density as well as lean mass in my upper body. Now, if you're interested in what your own training priorities should be, my personal recommendation is go for a scan as well as go for a strength assessment. It will save you plenty of time, especially if you are a working adult who needs to optimize for time efficiency during your training. That's all for today. If you have any insights or any papers that you think my team should pick up as well as share, please feel free to reach out to me. If not, till next time, take care.